Okay. Um, I just happened to come across a mystic orb. Uh, and I should probably explain what these do. After I kill these. By the way, I've been leveling up so fast I haven't needed to use my potion, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's what I love about this game. The leveling is so quick. It is ridiculous. Okay, so a mystic orb. Damn it, I opened that menu. Um, basically, there's all different types. This is a neutral mystic orb, which allows me to cube it with anything. But the point is, you can cube it with a weapon. It adds two to the required level. So this doesn't have a level on it, but now I need to be level two to use it. Required level two, as you can see. And it adds 1% to poison spell damage. Uh, that is not useful at all, but that, I mean, that, that was just an example. Um, later on, there's like percent enhanced damage mystic orbs, which are incredibly freaking good. Um, like, they can seriously make the difference between a good weapon and a bad weapon. Uh, so if a weapon had really good base damage, for instance, and you were to add, like, enhanced damage, which by default it didn't have, you can, like, make a, a bad unique an incredibly freaking good unique, potentially. Um, but th there's also enhanced defense. There's there's really a lot of them. I am in the burial grounds. I actually, actually, maybe I should kill her. No, forget it. I don't, I don't, I don't need to. Um, but yeah, Mystic Orbs are good. Uh, they were actually in the shop before, and if anyone was confused, that is what they do. They, um, add very good bonuses. There's also, like, all resist Mystic Orbs, so if your resists are low, and you're wearing some armor, that's, that's pretty low. And wow, a rare arrow crubber. That's, that's pretty lucky. Um, but yeah, if your resists are low, you can basically put that into some low-tier armor, and get your resist up to, like, 40. 40 more, at least. All res, so it's... Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Um, they do a lot of cool stuff. And you can see I'm just freaking destroying mobs now, which is pretty awesome. And um, yeah, I actually ran out of mana. That's depressing. So that's what Mystic Orbs do. We'll probably dive into them maybe later this episode, depending on if I find a good unique or not. Um, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys if I find anything else interesting that I have not covered. Uh, well, actually, I, I did not think about this. And I might as well pick this up. Um, and kill these enemies as well, why not? <laughs> uh, so this skull cap. Damn it, those are getting rezzed, whatever, I'll let them hit me. Uh, this skull cap, you'll notice has a one next to it, and that's its tier. There's six tiers, or seven tiers actually, um, up to sacred. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then sacred. Sacred is obviously the highest tier, and it's, like, really good. Um, the tier of your item kind of changes the... Well, for uniques, it'll change what it can roll, like a higher amount of skill levels maybe on the item, base skill levels, or uh, if it's a rune word, it'll just increase the defense of the item, because that's what it normally does. It just increases the defense, maybe the durability, but also the amount of strength or dex or whatever um, required to wield it. So yeah, uh, we'll also dive into that later when we start crafting and whatnot. But until then, let me waste a shrine, and uh, I'll maybe see you guys in a bit in a further place in this game. Okay, we're in the underground passage, and I kind of have to show you this guy right here. Not have to, but it's, it's something I should go over. Um, so this is a cave snapper, as you can see. Uh, they regenerate incredibly quickly, but these guys are basically just pockets. Holy shit. And they do a massive amount of damage. You might... I might add. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But they drop a lot of gold. Uh, gold find in this game is a lot bigger than it was in Diablo 2. I, I believe. Um, I, I think some people did gold find just to farm gold. But in the end game, I believe people just got really good rares and did it. I don't know. Um, and sold them, rather or high level rares. Anyways, not we're not talking about Diablo 2, we're talking about Median XL. Point is, those things drop a lot of gold, and once you get like a lot of gold find on your character, for instance, I have this, um, you get a lot more things like that, and there's also uniques that have gold find on them, but these things will start dropping like 10, 20, 30k. In the second difficulty, they can drop 100k, not even joking, um, which is about when money becomes useless. But you can... Um, when you have that money, just gamble, like, constantly, and get a perfect amulet with, like, three to all skills, uh, and never have to replace it again, as well as rings, 
one to all skills and like spell damage except in this case i would not want spell damage i would just want some added damage of some sort holy shit oh my god they hit hard should probably go back and uh and heal but yeah those guys are pretty cool um i am actually gonna buy two tomes now and i should wear this sell that not buy a key accidentally why not rare quiver sure um that's about it let's get these out of our inventory i think we can use these runes for something soon i'll let you guys know when but uh i'll meet you guys if i find anything more interesting once again by the way these scrolls of town portal only sell for one and a little trick if you want to get them out of your inventory just drop them and pick them up and they'll go into your tome which is pretty nice probably also buy some identification scrolls just a little hint if you see these areas don't go in them <laughs> early on they will slay you really really hard uh, that uber quest area is I think meant for like level 120 or something I don't really remember but yeah don't go in them it's it's a uh, it's bad it's a very bad place for low-level people okay geez I'm I'm Recording too much in this cave. Uh, so here's a new ability. This is something similar to what the Paladin has that makes him an incredibly safe character. Um, it just takes a ton of mana. Let me go ahead and... Okay, never mind. I killed him. Um, but basically, you drop some archers, and they go pew, pew, pew. And they do damage. And you slay stuff, and you can stack them on top of each other now. Never mind. It has a spell timer. They fucking... They nerfed it. Ah, so I won't be putting points into that. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. I can put points into something else. Uh, by the way, when you see an item like this, superior, and it happens to have a socket, just pick it up. Because chances are there's a rune word for it that can benefit you even slightly. Oh my god. There's a thing. I have the wrong ability up. I just wasted a ton of mana. Crap. There we go. He's dead. Oh my god. An apple. Okay, these things sell for a lot. Oh god, where did it go? Oh, it went on my uh, bar. Okay, so... Yeah. These have really good regen, but um, until really late, when you can actually maybe afford them or something, I recommend just selling them, because they're much, much better. They are much, much better to sell. They give you like 10k, and 10k is very useful. I'm saying that with 16k in my inventory that I can lose at any second and probably not get back, but seriously, it's, it's really useful. Finally! Okay, we can now put points into balance, which is basically just flat defense um 25 percent increased defense per level hopefully that climbs quickly because defense is very important in this game um like incredibly important in this game i just did the wrong thing uh but anyways we are in the dark wood or the dark marsh i don't even dark wood okay it's in the top right uh the one thing you have to remember to do here is get the freaking waypoint I haven't found either the tree or the waypoint because my luck right now isn't very... Ha! As I find the waypoint. Anyways, yeah, you're going to want to find the waypoint unless you want to walk all the way back here through that freaking ginormous cave. Um, which I don't, so I'm glad I found the waypoint. And here's the tree! I'm so lucky. I am actually generally quite, quite lucky when it comes to dungeon crawlers. Maybe that's why I like them so much. Okay, so there we go. Scroll of Infus. Uh, might as well record this part because it's so quick. Go to Akara. I don't think I got the Stony Field waypoint, which kind of sucks. So she's like, ah, oh, you got a piece of paper. Yeah, I got a piece of paper. It's pretty crazy, huh? And now I have to go to the Cold Plains because I didn't get the freaking Stony Field waypoint. So I will tell you guys. Never mind, I will not because it's right here. <laughs> Damn. I was going to tell you guys when I got to Tristram, but there's no point. Cause I'm in the stony field already. There it is, right over there. By the way, you move a lot quicker in this game, in case you didn't notice. Uh, and not because of the gem. It's just base movement speed is much better. And I need to put no pickup on. Because I don't want to pick that up. Believe it or not, I cannot use a shield with a bow in my hand. And there we go. Now we will not be killing Blood Raven. 
silly quest log. Uh, so Tristram still gives really good XP. I'm not going to farm here or level here, however, just because you level so damn quick in this game already. Uh, that guy does a lot of damage. I'm actually going to drop a TP just in case. I was scared for no reason. I on I, like I just played through uh, or part of Terror with my friend, and Grinswold is seriously harder than like any other boss in that difficulty. So I was scared for no reason. Save Kane. He is saved. Then we go here, and here he is, and he's like, oh wow, wow, his portal's up and everything. Holy crap! And it's still up. What's up with that? <laughs> is that? Oh no, there we go. Okay, you can identify my items. Did I have I? Den of items that I... Probably not. I have a jewel, though. That's good. Let me talk to this bitch. And she gives us, like, a ring, which I remember actually being good, but in this case, it's not. Uh, we're gonna go over to Chersey and actually spend our bucks. Damn it. Trade. Okay. So, Catalyst of Disenchantment. Important. Buy it. Um, that is what's used to break down uniques, which in the future is incredibly needed. Uh, let's see what else. Destruction. Uh, I, I might as well buy it now. I, I doubt I'm going to use it anytime soon. Um, is there any white bows here? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's repair all equipment. And I still don't have a rune I can use. But we have this, the gift box. Uh, I believe you just right-click it. No, you put it in your Haraja cube. Okay. Um, so this will give you three uniques for free. In this case, I got some gloves that increase attack speed, add some cold damage, which is really nice, has good defense, has cold resist. Okay, why not? I can't use them. Oh, yeah, I can. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. So that will be a pretty good upgrade for now. Um, in general, they're shitty gloves. Oh, wait. They have a stun attack. I wonder if that works on bows. Probably not. Anyways, we also have this. More physical damage. That's good. Fire damage not helping us. Five to Ravenflight. No idea what that is. Enhanced defense. 200 defense is pretty good. 7% uh, character defense plus. Uh, that is really good, actually. Um, that's just a flat bonus to your defense. So let's say I have 252 defense. 7% of that will be added to it again. Uh, and we got a bow, which is awesome. And it does a lot of damage. And holy shit, this does a lot of damage. Wow. And it actually has fire damage. So this might benefit fit us more than I thought. Level 16, though. We are currently level 14. We'll be able to use it eventually, however. Um, but for now, no. Uh, once we get that, we're going to seriously do a retarded amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, anyways, though, that that's pretty much that. Back to the Darkwood, I guess. I'm actually going to check the amount of time I've recorded because I don't want it to go over a certain amount and be a freaking movie. So I'll be back in a sec. Actually, I'll be back when I'm at a part that is interesting again, I suppose. Okay, here's something maybe slightly interesting. I might as well go over this because um, there's really not a reason to go over it, but I, I just want to show you guys my item that I'll eventually get. Hopefully you guys can still hear me, and as you can see, by the way, here's the site that you can check your uniques and what tier requires what amount of stats, um, but we're going to be going for Queen of Glass because it lowers a lot of resistances. Um, the castrate's useless for us, but it has faster run walk that's always useful, it gives a lot of mana. It has two resist pretty high. Uh, the only thing that sucks is the durability is ass on it. Um, however, being a unique, you can just put a Zod rune in it, which are actually very findable later on. Um, so there we go. And it has six sockets. That's ridiculous. And minus 40% requirement. I don't know. Oh, okay. So it does it does have it edited to how much strength you need. So that's that's quite a bit of strength. However, if we look at a lower tier, like tier one, for instance. Um, you only need to be level 11. Yeah, I have 80 strength, however, which we don't have. Uh, but the point is that's still pretty good to have, and it has a lot of defense on it. Um, and you might be wondering, how are we going to get such a unique? Well, let's go back into Diablo 2. Um, you can actually disenchant, not these uniques. You can't disenchant these uniques, because you can keep actually going back to reroll your gift box and get more and more uniques, and uh, potentially get a whole set of uniques. But they're kind of useless, honestly, because you can't um, break them down with the Catalyst of Disenchantment, which, if I had a unique, I'd be able to show you, but basically what you do is you put a unique in this in here, and you transmute it, and it'll give you a piece of dust. With five pieces of dust, you can make, um, you can make an arc, 
damn it, drop. There we go. You can make an arcane shard. I think it's called an, ar an arcane crystal, something like that. With two of those, you can make any unique in the game you want. Um, because as you can see, let's bring this back over. Uh, this is actually, like, this is ancient armor. This is full plate. This is gothic plate. No unique shares the same kind of base armor. Um, except for sacred uniques, but you can't craft those. Uh, so yeah, you can make any unique in the game. It's really useful. Um, and I actually like that quite a bit about this because it brings more of a crafting sense into it and a farming sense. Uh, so that's pretty nice. So let's minimize that now. And yeah, once again, I will tell you guys when I find something moderately interesting. Don't remember if we got a chest piece out of this. No, we didn't. Okay. Well, this is good. I found an Ithrune. Uh, what am I going to use it for? Well, I'll show you in a sec. If I put this, let's see, which one has, this one has much better base armor. So rune words only require one rune in this. Let me close that just in case I get attacked. Um, and yeah, yeah, they only require one rune. There's secret rune words that require multiple runes, but this, in this case rather, um, it is only one rune. If you have multiple sockets in an, an item, however, uh, you need to fill it in with jewels first. So let's say I have five sockets and the and it gets a little more complicated than that because some rune words can only have a certain amount of sockets in the item. I'll go over that later, but the point is, um, let's say I had four sockets and one rune. I would want to put three jewels in before the rune. It would still make the um, the thing, and it would still get the gem bonuses, or the jewel bonuses, I should say, uh, but yeah, that's what's required. You can't just put a a, uh, a rune in and then socket it with other things. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll be able to use that at level 15. It has 200 armor, or 150 armor, and one to all skills, and negative fire resist, and lightning resist, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. There's that. Unfortunately, the Black Marsh is a useless place, except for leveling, I suppose, and I can't seem to find the freaking area I need to go to. Um, but yeah, everything dies quickly, so it makes me happy. And ooh, a gem shrine. And a stamina shrine, that's useful. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Ooh, chip skull, gotta pick that up. That's actually good for our, damn it, character orb. I have to slay things now. I might die here. Maybe. These skulls follow you, by the way. They track you, literally. Okay, let's get back to base, actually, and heal up. But yeah, uh, I can show you this real quick. If you cube a chip skull in this case, with this, you get a flat defense bonus. 50 defense, not bad, and only required level one. That makes us, uh, where's it? Oh yeah, 300 defense, so, I mean, yeah. like, come on, that, that's pretty good, in my opinion. And um, you can find the, what affects the character orb on Google, I'm pretty sure, pretty easily, that is. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the Tamo Highland or whatever it's called, probably. If I happen to find something there worth recording. We'll see. How rude of me. I just noticed that I totally forgot to tell you guys who the creator of this mod is. Um, his name is Brother Laz, and an interesting fact, and the reason I wanted to tell you this, besides the fact that, you know, he should be known for making this, um, or I should mention that he made it, uh, he actually works for the Path of Exile peoples now. He, I believe, is an item creator or something like that, but that's amazing. Like, he made a Diablo 2 mod, and now he works for another dungeon crawler company. I, I just, I don't know. I, that made me quite happy <laughs> when I figured that out. Um, I believe he posted an AMA on Reddit that, uh, that he said that in, that he works for Path now. Or grinding gear games rather so that's a fun fact I suppose um, so this is pretty easy I hit level 15 actually and I still haven't been able to use my bow because you literally have to use God damn it die you literally have to use every single point every stat point into decks in order to have been able to use that bow so that kind of sucks um, yeah, 116. I'll get it in the next three levels, so that's okay. And for what it is, I mean, come on, it should be like level freaking 20 requirement, but uh, we can actually use this now. So let's drop that. That adds 
some stuff. We can check out what Ravenflight is now as well. Um, where are you? I don't see it. Ravenflight. Okay. It took a lot of my mana. Um, I'm not going to use that skill. <laughs> uh, because it, it's not very good, I think. I have no idea, actually, but it takes too much mana. Let's add these skulls for a thing. Yep, 150 defense, not bad. I just added that back to my cube. Um, and I'm going to continue here. Hopefully, oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Inner Cloister, easy. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to record any of the... Any of the, uh, whatever it's called. The, the Andy Place and Ariel's four levels of annoying get down stuff and then get the waypoint and you can actually farm it. Uh, these guys are pretty tough though, so I might as well record these. Not the Bloodfire Rogues, but these Black Knights do a ton of damage. And, wow, I just leveled again. Uh, you can see right there, there's little spinning things. I recommend you don't touch them because they uh, poison the hell out of you. I think they're called Flare Blades or something, or Flying Blades, Scythe Blades, I have no idea. Point is though, they poison you and you lose all your health and it sucks. Actually, it seems that they don't even poison me that much, but ow. See, I ran into them, I take a ton of damage, and now I am, in fact, almost dead. Because poison damage is the most broken thing in this game. So I'm going to go back and heal. And I'll probably meet you guys around Andy, or when I can use the bow. Oh my god, there is so much to record. Okay, uh, the reason why I'm stacking, or I'm going to stack, a bunch of elemental damage is because this skill right here... Um, it enhances your fire, cold, and lightning damage items. So, I can't find the item right now because I'm lazy and I didn't prepare. But there is an item later on that just adds flat freaking... Er, multiple items, actually, that adds flat all elemental damage. So, fire, cold, lightning. It's... So, yeah. This, this skill will do things. <laughs> A lot of things for you later on. So, it's pretty good. I'm not going to add any into Phalanx. I'll add another into... Two into Phalanx, actually. Sweet. We're looking at 1,000 defense already. That's actually pretty good. Um, I believe my pally was even lower. Oh, but yeah, why did I come here again? Oh, yeah, for healing things. There we go. But yeah, that I always end up recording again. It's ridiculous. And then it's hard to close the recording. Unless it's awkward like this. Okay, it's the moment of truth. We have enough decks for our bow. Uh, let's see, currently we do 416 damage. And can I put another point into Dragon More? No, I cannot. Is there anything I can put? I guess I can put a point into Wild and Free. Um, also, this ability, Static Frenzy, I'm not going to be using this. Because while it does give you a ton of wonderful damage, it makes your defense zero, and I'd rather be more tanky. Because um, I like going into the middle of enemies and just life stealing off of them. And on the off chance that they do hit me, it doesn't matter, because I've already life-stealed all the damage. So, I forgot what I was doing. I was going to look at the bow. Uh, here it is. It's done. We've been using this piece of crap. It has life-steal on it, and that 2% has actually been enough. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that bow gave a tribute, and it was enough for this. Oh, my God. This game... This game is an ultimate troll, I swear. Ah, damn it. Time to fight Andy with this shitty bow. Man, that really pisses me off. Actually, if I level here... No, I'm not gonna level here. If I did, though, it would have been enough. Gonna open this door. Shoot a few of those. That's an apple. Heck yes. The reason I'm not picking up the mystic orbs is because there's no reason to. Um, you can just buy them. They're pretty expensive, but it's totally better than just picking them up and wasting space with them. Okay, I'm about to level. We'll be able to use it after the Andy fight, but let's see. Let me get this apple off my bar so I don't accidentally use it. Ah, uh, there she is. Okay, poison damage is a lot. I'm going to let my dudes tank and kill her from off the screen. Hopefully. Oh god, she's sending meteors down. Let's get out of the way. There she is. I can probably kill her if she comes close to me. So, yeah, she's running now, actually. And she's dead! And I got a unique. And now I can show you what the disenchantment thing is for and open a TP. And that was Act 1. 
Okay, so I'm not going to use this broadsword because it's a sword. I have no need for it if you want to look at the stats. There you go. I'll try to show the uniques, but I've seen them all, so I'm not going to really... Uh, I'm not going to really think about that very often, but here it is. Unique plus disenchantment equals arcane shard. Get five of those, and you can tear up a unique. Or, if you get ten of them, plus oil of enhancement, you can completely just make a unique, which is awesome. Man, I really wish... Oh, wait. No, I did get enough. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I forgot. Um, so we do f f almost 400. Oh, whoops. We do 400 with Sunstrike damage, uh, basically 400 with Barrage, and once we use this, let's see, that's a 300 increase, I think. Yeah, that's 300 increase. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, since this only requires level 16, let us go over to Akara. This will be like, yo, man. I'll be like, hey, been a while. And then we will look for Lifesteal. Mystic Orb for Lifesteal, and we'll buy, let's see, three of those, what level am I? 22, okay, I'll buy another one. Lifesteal, there we go. I could go for damage, but I am instead going to go for Lifesteal, because I like Lifesteal, it keeps you alive. You steal lives with it. Oh my god, I made a terrible mistake. Well, we can't use the bow anymore, god damn it. <laughs> There's no way to remove Mystic Orbs as far as I know, but at level 24 we'll be able to use it again. Can't believe I did that. Oh my god, my math was off. Anyways, though, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, next episode or video or whatever, we will be in Act 2 like we are right now. And we'll start doing Act 2 stuff, starting with the sewers probably. Which I'll most likely just run through and not record much of. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, so, uh, the next episode of this, I, I guess we're going to go to Stonyfield, save Deckard Kane, and get something called the Gift Box, which Grim's World Drops, which has three guaranteed uniques in it that will potentially benefit your character. Um, and then after that, we can pretty much go straight to Andy. There's not going to be a lot of me running around in this episode. Yes. So... I'm pretty much going to be doing the straight-up quests, hopefully, anyways, that's that's what I'm aiming for. And, um, yeah, we really need to make money. There, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff we need to buy. Early on, money's actually kind of an issue, but it, it really quickly becomes not an issue later on, because stuff starts selling for obscene amounts. Um... And that could not come quick enough. I might use one of my characters just to give this character like 100k. Not even though that's kind of cheaty. <laughs> but uh, even so. I think it would be good. It would make the series a little more interesting. Um, but I am going to go to the Stony Field. And do all the stuff we need to do. And I will probably meet you guys around Tristram. Hopefully. And I'll save all my skill points till then, except for now, which should probably put skill points into stuff. I can put another point into Barrage, and another into Sunstrike, and one into Wild and Free. Uh, summon Fire Elementals is something that's good, but I believe there's actually something else. There's an Uber ability that um, can tank for you. I just, I just don't like the idea of Fire Elementals, I don't know why. I'll probably end up putting into them, actually. They cast really quick and whatnot. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. I'll meet you guys at Tristram or the Stony Field or next time I find something interesting.